I want to show you what to do when you get stuck on a math question. And let this question represent any question that you might get stuck on, okay? Your teachers tell you, read the question, read the question, but the question is sometimes the thing that's getting you stuck. You could read this question a hundred times and you might still be stuck. I want to show you how to get unstuck on any question. The first step is ignore the bit that's getting you stuck. So if you don't know how to work out the area of this shape, if you'll think, oh God, I didn't learn this shape. If this sentence is getting you stuck, just ignore it. Blank it out. There's no point in one decimal place unless we've got the answer, so blank that out. This, they literally draw there, and this, they literally say there, okay? So we don't need these bits. A C is the diameter, okay? That is a maths word. The diagram shows a shape made from a, no, boring. We don't need that, okay? This is the only bit of math that we need. Right angle, triangle, semicircle, okay? And the question's asking area, find the area. Okay, step one is ignore the bits that are getting you stuck. Step two is just focus on the math. We've got diameter, we've got right angle triangle, we've got a semicircle. And step three of stuck mode is do whatever you can. So just do anything. If you can do anything with these shapes, you're gonna be getting marks for it. This is a five mark question. Let me just show you. Semicircle. So semicircle is half of a circle. Pi r squared or two pi r. Okay, those are the only things you can do. What can you do in a right angle triangle? Okay, you can do Pythagoras. You can do trigonometry, or you can do half times base times height. This is the area of a triangle. So can I do pi r squared on this circle? We don't know the radius, so we can't do it. We can't do two pi r because we don't have the radius. Can we do half times base times height? Yes, we can. This is the base, this is the height. So we've done that one. So let's try and do Pythagoras. Pythagoras is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are these sides and c is the long one. So let's do it. Wait, that's the diameter. The radius is half of that. The radius. Now you can do pi r squared and two pi r because you now have the radius. Here the question was area, so we're gonna do this one at the top, which is the area. You do that, you're gonna, oh, I've got the area of this one, which was 18. Oh, and now I've got the, the area of the other one. Bang, there you go, you got five marks.